What up, you guys? You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Key, and we're back at it again with another episode of In Small Doses with Key. And today, we are going to do some celebrity gossip, okay? It's going down, okay? The world is going mad out here, mad, okay? So, you can follow me on my social media handles, In Small Doses with Key, my YouTube, and TikTok. Also, on my Facebook, Key Monet, and on my Instagram, key underscore of underscore essence okay i got a little bit of everything workout videos food content i upload some of my podcasts and everything else you can get you got it okay so today we are going to be talking about a few celebrities and the drama and the mess and everything else okay so my first uh topic we're going to be talking about is good old sexy red sexy red sexy red baby okay she is trending right now for basically people saying that she's an industry plant and that she is basically being utilized by the industry to destroy and finalize the destruction of the black woman's image okay and in my opinion i think everyone has a market Everyone has a market, and I do think that music like hers is too easily accessible for for the children. For the children, but a parent can only do so much to hide stuff from the children, especially if you got your child on social media. Best believe a sexy red video or a meme or whatever is gonna pop up. Okay, it's going to pop up, and. It's really hard to maintain and manage that. All you can do is really teach your children and have other influences around your children that is different from what is being mainstreamed on social media and what people are talking about. But controversy sells, y'all. Straight up and down, okay? Controversy will sell. Like, and it's not to say that that's like a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Because people have done stuff for a very long time that is very problematic from saying derogatory or degrading things in their music from doing things that are really reprehensible and should never be forgiven you know what i'm saying but that's sometimes what sells and do i think sex red is um here for the long run i don't know she might be temporary you know what i'm saying or she could be here for years she i guess she's trying to feed her family feed her her children you know, I think she only got one child, if I'm not mistaken. But I think what people really have an issue with is the fact that she be talking about she the raw dog queen. And some people be like, oh, she just real. She just real. Sometimes it gets to a point where you need to keep some stuff to yourself. Some things, everything do not need to be said about what you're doing in a bedroom. Everything don't need to be said about how you take care of your kids, what you got to do, all of this whoopie whoop. Everything don't need to be said. Some things are supposed to be private. And she had just did an interview where she was talking about she got to chlamydia twice. And it's just a hypocrisy and a contradiction. Because I did see an interview of her saying, y'all need to be wearing condoms. But then talk about she the raw dog queen. And she don't wear condoms. Then talk about how she got chlamydia twice with her ex-boyfriend. Or boyfriend now. I don't know if they're together or not. It's none of my business. But it is a influence on children. And if y'all don't know well now you know them std rates is high okay like the tide baby they coming in they rolling in baby stop playing stop playing y'all over here thinking oh let's be sexually liberated let's be free let's do a uh, polygyny and having multiple wives and multiple husbands did you not know that the most people who have stds are actually married couples they out in the streets they out in the streets just because they preach monogamy don't mean a thing. <laughs> it doesn't mean a thing, okay? And in my opinion, when you go against your vows and you promise this person, it's it's different when you're in a relationship with this person. You know, you didn't go underneath a contract, a contractual agreement to not do this to this person. You gave me your word and your word means nothing. At that point, when you sit here and you going out here giving me an STD, you supposed to, if anybody's supposed to be the most important person to you, is your is your partner, your wife or your husband, because at the end of the day, you could bring them back something because you won't be sexually free. If you won't be free, go ahead out in them streets. Go out in the streets. But don't bring that back home to me, okay? I mean, at this point, you can't really, it's hard to trust people nowadays because you don't know. I mean, even back then, you still don't know. 
But it's even worse because what can happen is your business can be put out in the streets with just one post and it can go viral. <laughs> viral. <laughs> okay, like I don't really want to talk about, you know, the what they what I think they call them um the random man in Atlanta. Six six or six or I think like eight or nine different uh mothers of his children. And a lot of them women knew about each other. We're not going to even take the onus just off of the, the strength that they didn't know each other. Some of them did, some of them didn't. And they did only have one child by the man. I guess they learned their lesson the first time, being left alone. But after you find out a man got more than one uh, baby mother, mother of a child, if you find out a woman got more than one and you still choose to deal with them and you see how they act and how they behave or if they're not around in their children's lives or if they don't take care of their children or if they do uh, irresponsible things around their children and stuff like that, that's all on you. That is all on you. And you get what you deserve. You get what you deserve. You knew that this man was unfaithful and that he wasn't going to stick around and he had all these other children and you paying. These women were paying for this man's lifestyle. You got what you deserved. You got it. You got it, in my opinion. You knew he had more than one child. If, you, if For the women who didn't, that's, that's, I understand it. But for those who did, knew he had more than one child and was okay with being a side chick, you know, or the other woman on the side. And to be honest, you're not really a side chick unless you're actually married, in my opinion, because you not married. <laughs> you know, you're just another woman who's, with this man at this point because he didn't give none of y'all rings he didn't give none of y'all that should have been a flag number one he didn't even bring up he probably didn't even bring up the conversation the fact that that you taking care of a grown man who got all these other children probably helping pay his child support for the other children to help him get cars and all this stuff no it's called i won't even talk to you have enough self-respect and standards for myself you won't even get a talk to a look back i won't even what I would catch a heart attack before I talk to you, before I date you, before I entertain you. There's a li- There should be a limit. If you see a man has, okay, I get a man or a woman having one child with multiple kids, with one person, you know, okay, they had a long relationship, they may have gotten married, all this yada yada, or whatever. Okay, understandable. You have one person outside of yourself you have to deal with. Okay, cool. But when you go into two, three, four, five, six, Lord Jesus help them. Give them strength. Give them strength. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Especially like for a man. If all those women put him on child support, his, he ain't got no check. You're going to be taking care of him. And especially, oh, don't marry the man. Because guess what? They're going to be doxing your check too. Y'all married a couple, baby. That woman, them women who got, his, uh, who got him on child support, that's coming out of your check too. Don't do it. Don't do it. 